everyone, so today's video is going to be a products I want to use up in 2016 makeup tag. Um, I want to take a minute to say hello if this is your first time to my channel. And please take a minute to scroll on down and subscribe to my channel. I do upload three times a week. Or I will be here in the new year when I finally get my life back on track. And give me a thumbs up if you like this video. So this is a makeup tag. Um, there's lots of tags that go around on YouTube, like a boyfriend tag, boyfriend does my makeup tag, how to get to know me tag. This one is just a cult favorite and something that has been started. Um, I saw it on one of my favorite YouTubers channel. Her name is Andrea Matalano. I may have just butchered her last name, um, but we'll find out. I love her videos. I love her. Go check her out. Um, and yeah, I wish she would watch my videos. So Andrea, if you see this, please give me a thumbs up or a comment or something because I love you. Anyways, moving on. So I apologize if I'm talking at the speed of light. Um, it's freezing cold in my apartment today and so that has me like talking million miles a minute and I tend to stumble over a lot of my words right now because of that. So I apologize. Anyways, let's get started. So basically what this is, is you pick out makeup products that either you never use, like you never reach for, or products that, well for in my case, some of them are cheats because I want to be able to actually use up one thing or another. So you pick out a bunch of products and then you commit to using them up within the year of 2016 and then you like check in at least once, maybe twice, or yeah, maybe twice to give an update on how you are doing at using up these certain products. So, um, a few of mine are products that I have started to use or are almost gone that are about to expire, so I want to commit to using them up so that I don't have to end up throwing away makeup because my problem is I do end up throwing away a decent amount of makeup because it expires and goes bad. So I wanted to commit to doing this so that hopefully I don't have to throw away nearly as much makeup. Also I want to apologize because my hair looks atrocious today. Um, I don't typically always look like this, but I put in some like new hair product and I don't know, it's making my hair feel kind of weird and I didn't do anything with it today because it's my day off and so I wanted to give my hair a break from the heat because I've been using a lot of heat lately. So. Yeah, it looks like frizzy and weird, and yeah, let's get over that. So the first thing I want to use up is this Maybelline Illegal Length Mascara. Here is what it looks like. Um, I bought this a few months, months ago. It has fiber extensions in it, so that's really what attracted me to it, and I like it. I just don't love it. Um, it depends on which mascara I pair it with. Sometimes it'll work better with some and not with others, and it looks good, but it just, I don't know. I just don't reach for it as often as I had anticipated, um, and I found other products, products that I like better. So I just want to use this one up before it expires. Um, here is what the brush looks like. It's a really nice, simple, gentle brush. I do really like it, but yeah, I, like I said, I just want to commit to using this up so I don't have to throw it away. Not that mascara is extremely expensive, especially these ones, but I just feel bad throwing so much makeup away. So there's product number one. Um, product number two is also an eye product. This is the e.l.f. Precision Liquid Liner, and this is in the shade Black. So here's what this looks like. I bought this quite a while ago. It's got to be pretty close to its expiration date. Um, and I I like it, but it's not the blackest black. Um, I'll swatch it for you. So here is what it looks like. Um, 
it's just kind of like it goes on super black but when it dries it turns to more of like a charcoaly color I guess it's just kind of a little bit more watery than my preferred eyeliners and especially if you watch my December favorites you've known that I've fallen in love with the physicians formula um eyeliner pen so I just I just really rarely reach for this because I have my wet and wild makeup liner I have that physician formula one so I just want to use this up it wasn't extremely expensive but then again I just hate throwing away products so I want to commit to using this one up. It's really good for days that I don't want a super dramatic look. I just want to maybe accentuate my eyes a little bit or, um, you know, just have a basic like going out running errands type of thing. Not doing anything fancy, not doing anything that I want to make myself look bam. Look at her. Yeah, so I just want to commit to using this one up. Product number three is also an eyeliner. This is the Rimmel London Scandalize Waterproof Eyeliner Pen in the shade number five, Nude. Here's what it looks like. My problem with this is that the automatic portion, the portion that, you know, twists stuff up, like twists the product up, it's definitely broken, but I've read people online say that you can just shove a paper clip up in there and it'll scooch up. So I wanted to commit to fixing this and making sure I use it up because I do like the look of using a nude eyeliner on the waterline, especially this waterproof one works really well. And I did love it until I just couldn't get any enough product out and stuff but because of that I'm just too lazy to fix it and I just don't reach for it very often so I want to commit to focusing on fixing this instead of throwing away an entire thing of eyeliner like an entire stick of eyeliner that's ridiculous and that is such a waste of money so I want to commit to fixing this and figuring out what's going on so that I can use it up and yeah plus I like this one so the next product I have is a foundation and this is kind of one of my cheap products. Um, I have a lot of cheap products in this. I don't have a lot of brand new products that I just don't use that often so I apologize if it seems like I'm cheating throughout a lot of this. But this is my CoverGirl True Blend Liquid Makeup in the shade I1 Ivory. Here's what it looks like. It does come with a nice pump. The lid's kind of icky on this one, but as you can see, I've used up most of it. I only have about this much left, um, which is probably like about a month's worth if I used it every day on a regular basis. But honestly, I don't reach for this foundation very often. I got this probably almost at the beginning of the year and I fell in love with it and I think it is a really good foundation but it's super lightweight um it's just a lightweight foundation in general um and it doesn't last as long as most of the other foundations I have so it was great when it was summer out and like 90 degrees and I just you know I'm sweating and I just want something nice and lightweight but now that it's winter I don't use it very often because it just doesn't give me the coverage that I enjoy in winter so honestly like I've been contemplating for the past month of just getting rid of it because I don't have tons of it left and I'm the type of person that's like okay I can't buy another foundation until I use one up because I have like five or six that are open right now so I want to commit to once you, one is used up, then I give myself permission to buy a new one. So part of me was like, I can just throw this away and get a new one. Because it is nice. It comes in with this nice glass bottle. This shade is 100% perfect to my natural shade, especially during winter. It was awesome, but it's just not as high quality as some of my other ones. But I decided, you know what, I'll toss it in here. I'll commit to using it up in 2016 because I put it on the interwebs saying that I would do so and hopefully I'll actually use it up that way I'm not wasting so much money so the next product is this Ulta automatic lip liner in the shade bear 
I barely, bear, barely, ha. I just bought this, um, here's what it looks like. I just barely bought this probably a week and a half ago, but I am not a huge lip liner person. I don't tend to wear a lot of lipsticks that tend to feather out on me or lip glosses. I don't have that issue. I don't know if it's just like I don't have fine lines around my mouth so ten things tend not to feather out on me or I just don't have a lot of products that do that. So I don't use it but I do enjoy, I have a few lip liners, I do enjoy layering them with lipstick when I'm doing like a super glammed up look. So I wanted to commit to, okay I have bought, I have like five of these and I'm bought it and I want to commit to using it so that's why it's in here. I just want to make sure that I actually start using these and start using up the products that I do have but this is the perfect bare nude shade. Um, you can pair it with just about anything. I love these lip liners, these Ulta branded lip liners because they are so nice and creamy and stay forever. Like you could use this as a lipstick on its own. It is so nice. And here is what it looks like. It's just this perfect warm toned nude that you could use to line your lips for basically any lip product and it'll look fabulous. So that's what I want to commit to using that one for. I do have a few more lip products. So this next one is this Marvelous Moxie Bare Minerals um, Lip Gloss in Birthday Babe. I did get this as a free birthday gift for my actual birthday um, and I love this thing. It is the best lip gloss I have ever used in my life. It's a little tacky when you put it on but it is so freaking moisturizing. It is just as moisturizing as regular chapstick and so I fell in love with this immediately. Um, I used to wear it like every single day and then I was like I need to slow down and start getting back into my lipsticks and things like that. But it is this perfect shade and I'm somebody who hates glitter lipstick. Hates it. But it comes with this nice doe foot applicator that is angled and here's what the shade looks like. It has little a little bit of shimmer to it. Just enough to really give you like this glam look but not so much that it looks like a little girl's lips like lip gloss and that's where my problem in lies is so much of it just looks like little girl's lip gloss. So here's what it looks like and I love this and like I said I just absolutely love this. I haven't been reaching for it as much in the month of December as I did in November so I've never used up a tube of lip gloss in my life so I wanted to commit to doing so because this is a great quality and it was free so I just don't want to have to get rid of something like this that is a very lovely amazing product so I'm gonna commit to using this one up. The next one I have another lip product. If you can't tell I own a lot of lip products that I just don't use very often so I'm gonna commit to using up a bunch of them. But this one is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Stockholm. Here is what the tube looks like. Everybody loves these things. They're so freaking affordable for the quality of them. But I'll swatch it here for you. This is the 100% perfect shade for winter. But honestly, I haven't worn it very much this winter. It's this one right here. And I don't know why. I think it's just because... Like, liquid lipsticks, I enjoy them, but they're so much work, so I don't use them every day. I really only use them on my days off when I'm, like, just, you know, I'm filming or I want to look good or whatever. So, I just decided I need to commit to using one. And nude lipstick is perfect all year round. I think it looks fabulous at any time. So, this is just a wonderful color that you can pair with almost anything and I decided I'm just going to commit to using this one up. So yeah, it's not like it costed a lot but I just want to make sure I actually end up using one of them up. And this next one is going to sound really silly, it's another lip product, but I think every girl in the world can, can, can completely relate to this. This is my Blistex Medicated Lip Balm. Boom, it's just your average chapstick. 
I want to commit to using one chapstick up. I either lose them before I end up using them up, or I put them in the washer and ruin them, or I just, I find a new chapstick that I like better, so I just end up throwing them away because they're so affordable that it seems like, eh, you're not going to lose much money if you just chuck it away, you know? But I decided in 2016 I'm going to commit to using up one chapstick. Whether it's this one, which I just barely started last week, I think, or if I lose this one, then I'm going to start a new one. But at some point in 2016, I'm going to finish up one tube of chapstick, whether it's this one or a different one. Boom. So, all you girls in the world should try and do that. And then the last thing I have for makeup wise um, is in this Tarte Showstopper palette. I want to commit to using up this bronzer right here. The name escapes me right now, but I will link it down below what color this bronzer is. Um, but it is a little bit lighter than my favorite bronzer, which I did put in my December favorites. So if you're interested in seeing what my all-time favorite bronzer is, go check out that video. I'll link it down below. But this bronzer is great for just everyday use, especially here during winter when I'm not super tan. Um, it's not good for like contouring or anything, but it's perfect for just warming up the face. Um, I do have to use a little bit more of it than my favorite bronzer, but I'm okay with doing that. I mean... It's a great quality. It lasts forever on the face. And I do absolutely love it, but I just don't reach for it as much as I thought I would. Um, I do kind of forget about it until I jump back into this palette for like the eyeshadows or this blush or something. And then I'm like, oh man, I should use that one today. So I just want to commit to using it up because this palette isn't exactly cheap. Anyways, so this bronzer isn't exactly cheap. So I do want to commit to using it up so I don't waste all of that money that I spent on this palette and just use up a few things in it. So anyways, so that is everything in my makeup tag of 2016 products that I want to use up. I do have some other like New Year's resolutions that I want to commit to. Number one is actually getting back on my uploading video schedule. I used to upload three times a week, but within the month of December, I really haven't been on YouTube that much just because life has gotten in the way and so many other things that have been a little bit more important than doing this have fallen into place. So after the new So in the new year, I just really want to commit to doing that and make sure I'm getting back on a schedule and being really good about staying consistent with YouTube. And the second one I have is um, for the whole month of January, I really want to focus on saving up a bunch of money and being healthier. So I've committed to not eating out for the entire month. Um, I do tend to go out to lunch quite often with my friends, um, and my husband and I do order food quite often, so I just want to commit to helping save money by buying groceries and cooking here at home and eating a little bit healthier, because it'll be good for everything, so I want to commit to doing that, and those are my New Year's resolutions and things that I'm committing to for 2016. So if you have done a makeup tag like this, please link it in the d down below. Um, I would love to see it, and of course I'll list all these products down below as well. And I will check with, in with you at least once this year to tell you how I'm doing and committing to these things, but it may be a couple more times than that. So I hope you guys all have a happy 2016 and look forward to seeing you later. 